In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how Crystal Maker works with element types and generates bonds and what to do when the bond generation fails. So here I have loaded a dummy crystal structure that contains two completely unknown element types ZA and ZB. Because Crystal Maker can't match them in its current element table it has assigned default grey colors and a default radii of one angstrom and moving to the bonds inspector we can see that bond generation failed we have no bonds generated at all. So what do we do? Well one thing we could do is we could use the distance tool to measure distances between atoms and then try and figure out our own bond distances. That could be a little bit tedious if the structure is complicated. There is a better way and the better way is to use the distances explorer to give us a good overview of the state of bonding in this structure. Now before I do anything else I'm just going to customize the colors so we can distinguish the two elements in our structure. So I'm going to just click on the colors in the uh, atoms inspector and ZA and ZB are now brightly colored. Now I'm going to click on the distances button in the toolbar. And this opens up the Distances Explorer. And on the top left hand corner we have a list of the elements that we're searching from. And down at the bottom we have a list of the elements that we're searching to. And then we have a summary of the results in the central pane. And we have a graph showing numbers of distances per unit volume as a function of distance. And we can see that we've got two distances very close together uh, between three and a half and four angstroms uh, and uh, they correspond to a bond from ZA to ZB which is the, uh, the, uh, the pink and then we also have bonds from ZA to ZA which is the blue so it's the destination atom uh, which is colored. So clearly we've got two uh, first nearest neighbor distances that we're interested in around 3.7 between 3.7 and 3.8 angstroms. The next nearest distance is way out at 5 angstroms. That's also from ZA to ZB but that's a second nearest neighbor distance that we don't need to be concerned about. So what we're interested in then are these two peaks here and incidentally on the right hand side of the distance explorer we have controls to plot the graph in many different ways. We can export our data by the tables of data or as a graph. But for now we are just interested in these distances 3.7 and 3.8 angstroms. So I'm going to return to the graphics window by closing the distance explorer and we're going to manually enter some bond specifications. So let's go to the bonds inspector and I want a bond from ZA to ZB and that was at about 3.8 angstroms and there are those bonds are. And we want a second bond we know from ZA to ZA which is also about 3.8 angstrom maximum distance. And there they are. And in fact, I think what we'll do is we'll choose two tone styles so those bonds are appropriately colored. And now we have a nice set of bonded atoms in this otherwise unknown crystal structure.